These are clearly the things necessary to make a s'more, and I have no clue as to why I showed them to you right now. Today is day 227 in the vlog, and I'm going to do my best today to not make today just about me talking. I'll try to film some other stuff for today, but I've just been... I'm tired. Hold on one sec. So if you remember a while ago, at day 200, I gave some stats and I shared that my current trajectory was to end in August of 2021. And that really bummed me out, so I started to pick up the pace a little bit on the vlog. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've posted nine consecutive days. So I've made nine videos in nine days. Enough of making excuses for today. To our passage. Excuses are the main course of the lazy. Like I said, day uh, 227 and we're looking at Ezekiel 5 through 8. In chapter 5, we see God telling Ezekiel to shave his beard and hair and to take a third of it and to burn it, to take another third and to like cut it up with a sword, and then take the last third and throw it and let the wind kind of scatter it to signify God bringing his destruction upon Jerusalem. And it's so interesting to me in this passage, like God says very clearly about his people, that they had become more wicked than the nations that were around them. And we have to remember, the thing that distinguishes these people was God was going to use them to bless the rest of humanity by bringing the Messiah, the Savior, through them. But yet they were even worse off than all the other nations around them. Chapter 6 is then Ezekiel speaking towards those who were in the mountains. Like With all this destruction happening in the city, there would have been many people that have, would have fled to the mountains thinking that they could find refuge in the mountains. But in spite of the fact that they went into the mountains to seek safety and refuge, uh, they could not escape God's destruction that was coming. In chapter 7, God is just like, this is the end. This is the day of my wrath. This is it. It's all coming together on this day, and my wrath is being poured out upon these people after all this time of me being merciful to them and patient with them but yet they're still disobeying God and following after other gods. And, and that really segues nicely into chapter 8, where we see these abominations taking place in the temple, and God is uh, kind of taking Ezekiel into like a trance type of vision type place where he's showing him uh, all of this idol worship that's taking place, not just among the people in, in like their homes and other places, but actually in the temple, in the sanctuary of God, some of the most profane idol worship is happening. In reading these four chapters, one thing that kept popping up that I thought was interesting as God was pouring out his wrath and his judgment upon his people was that he was doing it for a very specific reason. And that reason is so that they might know that Yahweh is Lord. The reason God is pouring out his wrath and his judgment is because he wants the people, his people, to know that he is God. Because that is the greatest offense that his people had been engaging in, is that they'd been living their life in such a way, not acknowledging that Yahweh was God, but that other things were God. And I think there's, it's, it's beautiful, I think, because even in the midst of his wrath and destruction, He's trying to show his people how wonderful he is and how good he is in hopes that they would turn to him. And I just think it's a great reminder of the emphasis, really a huge theme and a huge emphasis of scripture, which I think we talked a lot about on the early part of the vlog, but this important idea and truth of knowing God, being intimate with God, abiding in the presence of God. God, he does everything even the things that are done on the most extreme levels for the purpose that people might know him and come to know him and come to 
fall in love with him. Uh, tomorrow we're having a Christmas party for the students. Uh, it will be COVID friendly, don't worry. And time to do some shopping for that. like anti-Walmart, I'm just like not a fan of shopping at Walmart. Walmart. I love going to Cafe Rio. <laughs> 